Teresa's Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my backyard over here where my herb garden is. And I'm going to get some seeds started. I was blessed by Tammy, one of the owls, with a beautiful packet of toothache plant. This is an amazing herbal plant to grow, and it does exactly what it says it does. It stops toothaches and works very well. It works, to me, just a little bit better than clove oil does. And it's known by fish eyes, fish eyeball plant, many other names. And I'll have more information about this wonderful medicinal in the description box below. So, with that being said, I'm enjoying this cool morning and getting as many plant or seeds as I can in the dirt. So, let's get busy. Now, this pot did have all my Rosa Ragosa seedlings in it, but I was finally able to get them all transplanted out. I have re-fertilized the pot real good with uh, compost, some uh, Epsom salt, some bone meal, a little bit of blood meal as well. So let's get busy. This is a beautiful packet of toothache plant seed. Now I have took some soil aside so I'll be able to cover them up. This is what the stripped seed heads look like. This is what, now they'll get bigger too. This is what the dried flower heads look like. And if you can see all the little black seeds, that's the toothache plant seeds. And we're going to scatter them in. Yes, I plant a lot of seeds because you never know with them being homegrown what the germination rate is going to be. And with this seed head, you just roll it around in your hand and your fingers and you see how the seeds just come right off. hoping a bunch of these germinate that way I'll have plenty of plants to harvest from now if you have multiple pots that don't have plants in them already you'll need to make a marker so you know what your plant is I have blueberries, walking onions, potatoes, rosemary. I know this is my germination pot. So, and I'm just going to cover these little seeds up. Now, the base of the soil in the pot has already been pre-moistened. And that way, your seeds get a good start. Now, you don't have to start your seeds this way. If you want to, you can in individually sow them in the seed cells. At the moment, I have just about most of my seed cells full of seeds. So, yeah, I do this method as well. Tap them in. Make sure you get really good soil contact. And then we're going to gently, and I have the mister on, we're just going to mist them in.
And then I wait and let that percolate down. Then I'll mix them again. I want to make sure they have plenty because here before long the sun is making its way this way thankfully it's not as ungodly hot as it has been but this way the soil won't dry out now typically toothache plant will germinate between 7 and 14 days I have had it germinate within four days before, but we shall see how long it takes to germinate. Sorry, just saw a, a weed on top. That come from the compost, and apparently it has stirred up every mosquito around here. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. And yes, you can grow toothache plants. They are easy to grow, and they are beautiful. They definitely are a medicinal, and they like full sun, because they are a tropical plant. Now, you will, I don't know what that is, yep. You will need to uh, not make the mistake that I did last year, and that's why I am so thankful Tammy sent me those seeds. You will have to remember, don't harvest all of the flower heads off of them at least remember to save a few for seed stock for next year because they are an annual and they will not survive the winter here in zone seven my zone can be weird at times we're either 7a 7b sometimes it wants to be 8a it all depends on the season and with the weather being the way it is and it's changing it's going to be definitely interesting from here on. But simple, easy, anybody can grow this. And I'll show you once they get germinated and big enough to transplant out. I'll bring you back for another video. I love to grow them and they are an amazing medicinal. Hope this video encourages you as well to grow your own toothache plant. And I'll have the Latin name and more medicinal information in the description box below. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound out there. Continue to stock and prep up and stay positive. Don't get paranoid. Don't panic. You got this. Everyone, take care. Have a blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you soon.